Welcome everyone. I uh, thought I'd do a press, uh, uh, pressing up some uh, aluminium for everyone. Show you how I've been doing it. Um, just I've done one of these previously in the past, but I've actually added more springs to the to the press itself because it wasn't going up, and I was pushing it up myself. So I've only added probably an extra two there on each side. Um, I've also, in addition, of actually springs for this one here is so I can bring it across, hook the chain on and lift that out at the same time. It's no extra addition basically because it's just a couple of springs, just hooks on. Um, I reckon it works even well. I've uh, got an extra bar so I can get out further and get down to that 12 ton. Uh, I was struggling with just the normal handle that come with it. So let's get to and get it done. Uh, I'm going to finish this one off and then take this one out. Got all of our gear right here. Um, I have got um, a couple of springs and some bolts there that actually holds the plate up now too. So when I've got all of this dropped down, I can actually hold it up. So we're just going to get to and get this done. This one's coming out. We've got enough here to actually put start making another one too. So we'll just start into this. It's the, this is actually a bit lopsided, so I've got to load more of that side than what I've got to load this side. Probably won't take long to get this one done. It'll be nice to have the wireless going. Bit of music for everyone. We've got some good tunes on today. On the old wireless. Pity, but never mind. Everyone's just going to have to listen to me. Unfortunately... So I just stuff it in as best as I can. I can get, you know, the block that comes with the press, press it down. But I find that's overexerting myself, so I just do it this way. Right, that's to there. Put our plate on. Chain out of there. The chain's basically... You'll see it in a minute. Put that on top so it doesn't bend it because that has bent the plate once before. I did promise this video would be coming out so this is part of it. Start off with the small handle. Get our spring in place for the chain go the next one down yep that'll do just helps bring the plate up I don't have to fish for it just a simple job as you can see I'm sitting down it's just hard on the arms all right we'll get this one ready Put him in. Oh, can't get that apart. That's all of our wire sitting there. Ready to be stripped. That's in there, that one. That is well and truly in there. Oh, we'll leave it in there. Just makes life easy. Should be enough for now. Oh, got it out. I needed to get it out to undo that. See what I mean? It just lifts the plate up, makes it easy. And just unhook it. Because it does get stuck in there sometimes. tops even <laughs> just 
just about to the top, I reckon. Get some of this smaller stuff. I've even got soda cans down the bottom. Down the bottom here to crush up that don't even go through our machine. So I'll send it to the recycle centre. Scrap metal dealer. Crush them up like this. Get that down in that hole. Alright, plate again. We go all the way down now. Spring in place. Go on that one. Clip it on. Start with this. Just a simple shop press. That's all it is. 12 ton. This is the gadget that I made. Oops, we're going crooked. Right, that's to there. That's to there. We'll level it out. Now we're getting hard. Ooh, that went right in. That's what it's supposed to. Oh, we've got the wrong end in. Yep, we've got the wrong end. That's better. This is where I've got to get up. Get right out of here. Probably about another three or four of those. <sighs> Pressing down like that. Might this will probably all go through before I actually take it out. <sighs> See if that done up tight enough. Oh, wrong way. We can sit down again. <laughs> Having that spring makes it so easy. So much easier. Not fishing for it. 
Right, put these through. I've got to and cleaned as much as I can out of these. I just mix it all together. I don't try and do one thing at a time. Just put in whatever I can, it's all going to be crushed together anyway. Take it down again. I appreciate all the new subscribers too. Thank you for tagging along. I call it tagging along. You call it whatever you think, you know. I just like creating all this content for everyone. What I do during the day. My experience. How I'm recycling. Ooh, that's come hard pretty quick. Lift that up. I didn't put the spring on that one. Bugger. I slipped up there, didn't I? That doesn't matter. It's almost to the top. Bit I missed, I'll let the birds have that. They usually come in here and have a feed on all of this. Be the first sunny day we've had in probably a week. It's been nothing but drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Miserable weather. Give me time to do things around here though. My normal caretaking duties and that sort of thing. So I had to put on a hold because of that. Maybe actually yesterday I was able to get in and do some bit of, a bit of weed spraying. There's ain't been that much rain. It's um, bringing up a lot of weeds, so I had to get in and do a lot of spraying yesterday. Stay boo boo, stay. Oh, right. this on there. Nice to be able to pull a lever and let it go down itself. 
save my arm. Uh, uh, I've been thinking about it. Been thinking about it. The porter power one. Then you got the motor on the side. I'll probably get an electric one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Better put this on. Way down there. We'll go down all the way with this one. Got some pressure behind it. That's it. <sighs> Threw that arm away, didn't I? I need that, don't I? Wow, look at all the juices coming out. Stuff I couldn't clean out. Stuff the birds didn't get. And that is the main reason why I wear gloves. You never know what's in, left in there. Do one more press down, we might take it out. We might fit all this in then. Yeah, we might get it all in. Do it right. Give that a small squash, get it down a bit, without the plate under it, of course. One of those hard plates. Finish this one off. A bit of alfoil, foil, a couple of lids, a couple of necks, bottle top necks. Oh, a couple bit more. Go more, mate. Go more. Go more. Go more. Go more. Go home. I'm already home, he says. Oh. It's just getting hot. Oh, 
squash it down good. Wee there! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh, now I can't pick it up. That'll be our next one to start off. I'll grab the scales when we're finished, when I've tied it all up and got it out, and we'll see how much it weighs. I'm tipping, estimating, 6 kgs. Not sure. Could be less, could be more. I don't know. I'm going to go all the way down with this. Let me grab it by the bar. That end. She's a bit lopsided. Hmm. Could put more in it. That's it, can't go anymore. Did it level out? No, it's still a bit lopsided. Uh, I might pack a couple more halfway across. Yeah, she's on a lean. I'd like it to be level. It's just gonna be a bit heavier. Won't matter too much. Couple of cans. Ah, uh, I'll go this way. I do thank everyone for all the suggestions we've had too. All the goodwill. I think that'll do it. 
I'm just about tipping the whole thing over. That'll do. Yeah, that'll level it out. Level it out good enough. All right. Take that up. Leave that in there. Oh. No, I'll take it out. It's going to be heavy. This is where we're going to move these. This is where it gets interesting. Grab our pin from here, put here, move that out of the road, put that under there, our other pin, put here. Right, now we can undo the bolts. Oh, hang on. I'll move that right out of the road. We'll get to that in a minute. This has got to go right down the bottom. Same with that pin. Pick up our bar. Don't need that at the moment. Right. Get to undo this. Yep. that down there. Right. Up there. And we just push it out. So all we gotta do is just push it out. I will move the chair for this because I've got to stand underneath it. There's a couple of bottle tops that didn't the, the tabs that didn't actually go and get pressed. They're a hard thing to press up them. Um, I usually got a block of steel there, but I haven't. I've done away with it. Anyway, not to worry. Get part way down and reassess it. I better get me ties ready. Oh. This is what I was doing, yes, this is what the springs were for. Yes, I'm a bit ahead of myself here. Right, now. Getting a bit ahead of myself for sure. That'll go through there. Or is it that one? That one goes through there. That saves me having to hang on to it. That one there. Uh, that one. Down through the hole. Hooks onto that. Go through the hole. That's onto there. Like so. Same this side. That into there. It's got me thumb. It's got me thumb. That just hooks onto the thread. Bit of a juggling act setting it up. Now, where's the other one? I'm missing a spring. Where's it gone? Someone stole my spring. Bugger. No, well, we'll just take one off here. It's exactly the same. 
We'll put it back. They're out of, um, these springs are actually out of dishwashers in the doors. So I've recycled, reused, you could say. Put that onto that. That onto that. Now I can get back on my chair. It's a bit lopsided. Don't know why. Probably because they're a bit shorter than than those two. Anyway, let's get back to the action. There's a fair bit of pressure there. You wouldn't think there'd be that much. Tried several different ways, but this is the only seems seems to be the only way that I can do it. Up and down, our uh, handle is way up the buggery. Grab a tie before I get too carried away. Before I can can't lift it. Feed it underneath. These are the ties that I've picked up. So another form of recycling and reusing. Push that to there. I've got about three there, so I Probably won't use three, but then again, I don't know with this size block because I could have put more in it. Too late now. All the different colours and whatever. There's good. Turn that up. Turn it upside. I knew that was going to drop. I could see it happening. We're out. The reason why I put the springs there is because it got too heavy for my arms. <laughs> that was the main reason why I put springs in. Oh, there's a bottle top there. What's it doing way over there? You're coming with me. Right, now, I've got to lighten that up. I've got to take all of that out of the inside. That out. You up top. The other plate. Damn. Up there. Ah. Take the 
Bring off. Let it sit down. that out. Take our springs out. I'm going to put one back too. Remember. It's not urgent. It's not, you know, I don't have to put the spring back. But it just makes it easier for this to lift. Well, we've got that side. I've got it that side, so this one goes that side. Simple. Our bars. <sighs> Gotta move this completely out of the road now. So we'll just sit it up top here. It's got some weight in that. Oh dear. <coughs> Besides the two blocks of steel that are with it. Put that there. Oh dear. Put that there. Right. Now we can move this back up to its original spot. Sit this back in. Oh, it sort of went a bit too far there. Bear with me. Right. Got the cable tie back off again. I was supposed to, man having a brain fuzz, put it across here first before I worried about anything. Then put it in here. That way I know the length. So when I go to squash that down, that's going to compress, I can pull down on it. I'll line that back up into that, let it flop into there, that to there. And pull, pull that over. Grab those two. Put him on top. Another tie. This will be all done in a matter of minutes. I've done that up. No. Sit that there. Now I can't go all the way down with like the full strength of this because the ties won't hold that much.
a bit stronger. Close enough. Don't want them to go pop. Don't want to stretch the friendship with them. Like that's a fair bit of pressure already. Oh, come out. Test it with this one. See how much I can pull down. Oh yeah, that's a fair bit of pressure. We won't go any further. Get that apart. Slow and steady. We've done well. Didn't go pop on me. Good. Right. Go get a set of scales. Find out how much it weighs. Right, I've been chasing around, grabbed all of our ones that we've already done and grabbed the scales. I thought, well, what am I going to sit it on? Because I want to weigh the whole lot. Like I've got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five sitting here. Um, this one's the one we've finished pressing up over here. As you, as you know, I uh, grabbed a piece of extruded alloy. Now, I put it on here. Right, comes up zero, but... You take it off, nothing. Oh, there we go, Seven, 700 grams. So I've got to take 700 grams off. So we'll get to, grab this one. It automatically turns off, so that'll be great. Put him on. Put him on over this side. And we drop the cap. 8.6 kilos. Damn, that's the heavy one. All right, let's keep going. No, not going to keep going. All right, we've got to start again. Got to be fairly quick with these. They're only bathroom scales. There, there. No, you're not going to flash on me. Oh, come on, do two at a time. Turn off. Come on, turn off. It's getting heavy. <coughs> Turn off, you... Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. That's there. That one there. Oh, that's... Just so... I think it's those two alone. I'm not sure. Come on. Work. You gonna work for me? No. All right. We'll do two at a time only. Oh dear. 17.2. So that's those two. Uh, I'll just move this down. That's a heavy one. Weight individual, I suppose. Well, that's 8.6 as well. What was that one? About the same, wasn't it? I think. I wonder they're heavy. 16 kgs, 17 kgs, yeah. Oh, 7.4. Is it going to work? 7.4. 2 at 7.4. 7. Seven. Wonder if I'm going to be quick enough. No, it wasn't quick enough. That'll be quick enough. We might get this, you know. Thirty point two kilos. Damn, that's a lot. I didn't think it'd be that much. Only 30 kilos of crushed aluminium foil trays. 
damn. Anyway, I'll put the other back together. Get this off the set of scales. That's a lot. All right, put our press back together. Or I should be able to just lift it straight in the way it is. Like a saw. Couldn't do that with a block in there. 32 point, 30.2 kgs. Oh, that's a lot. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. Very excited. All right, this goes across. That one goes in yonder. Under there. That one and that. Where's the other one going? Oh, it's there. Show me doing backtracking. Don't think I need the bolts in, but it's just safety precaution. That's why I look at it. Best to be safe than sorry and not have them there. And then bust out on you. They're not going in right. Why are you not going in, mate? Should go in. Oh. You go in. You started, so you should be able to go in. Now I snookered myself. There we go. Oop, too far. When I put this together, I had some couple of funny thread ones. So, but they're screwing in okay. They might be the ones at the back. Problem. I think this one's the problem. Going up there. Yeah. 
Pin back. Should have made a bit of a boo boo there. Nothing's always perfect. Now me rods, these ones. Let's start. This is the part I love, the start of it. You can fit a lot in. More bar for this one all the way. Spring onto there. If anyone's interested in the uh, dimensions or that sort of thing, shoot me a, a, a message, comment below. Might be able to assist anyone that wants to make one. Um, I didn't make the shop press. She's uh, bought one. I'm paid, I think it was about 100 and 120 to 180 dollars. Not sure. Uh, you might find one in your Walmart or your super cheap area. Super cheap for Australia. Uh, Walmart for all the people overseas. As we all know, I'm in Australia. I don't talk like an Australian sometimes. But yeah, that's just me. Got no accent. It's just the way I am. all this through anyway get it done the can go around the side there
I'll do it in stages. These will go through as dirty alloy, dirty aluminium. You can certainly pack a punch when you got it empty. Put a lot in. Meaning that. That's a big piece. Right, push it down. We should be able to put the rest in then. After this,
has got a limitation where it can only go so far down anyway. in anyway. it down a bit and then we'll put the remains in and push it all the way down then. There's not much left. certainly did. Alright. Down to the last section. Last push down. So that's going to do it for this video everyone. Um, this is how I spend most of my days afternoons that I've gone out collecting and got a whole heap of alloy aluminium foil trays and stuff um, most of my scrap metal and that sort of things already sorted so yeah that could go further oh, I might be able to do that a different way that way turn the screw up so 
hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me doing this. Um, don't forget to smash that like button. If you consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. Try to put content out as much as I can. Um, got a, another video coming up afterwards. Might be pulling some um, fridge motors, copper out. I've already pulled the fridge motors apart and, and that sort of thing and got the coils out. I've just got to cut the copper out and see how much all that weighs separate, like from the, from the metal to the copper and that sort of thing. Um, there might be another one too with a washer, uh, not washing machines, um, microwave motors, little microwave motors and how much you actually get out of them, a little microwave motor the little turntable one got a fair few of those to do up um, what else can I do four years old, so you know what I'm doing I might push this this way I'll be able to do that I'll do that, do that that way um, I'm not sure not sure Anyway, just keep your eye out and, uh, yeah. That's not going to go that way. Misled. Misled myself there. And now it don't want to do up. So I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Cheerio!